you know, Michigan State played outstanding, and uh, the markers of the game that we that we really had to make sure we didn't let happen, they happened. They made too many threes, and um, their field goal percentage was outstanding because we gave up too many fast break baskets, and um, we didn't do the, the the disappointing part for us is. Um, you know, obviously we did a very good job in the first half, or a very solid job in the first half, but we did not, we did not continue that by playing the personnel uh, as well as we needed to. And they just were too comfortable. And when they're comfortable, I mean, they're pretty good when they're not comfortable. But if you let them be comfortable with how they're playing and, and getting great looks and, and not taking things away from them, then that makes them even that much better. And, um, uh, the 12 and 19 in transition, I think, for the points, that was that was crucial. You just can't do that. You can't give up a team. And their break was so good. Um, and they, they always have an outstanding break. And today it was as good as it's been that, that I've seen. But we participated in that a little bit. We didn't we didn't uh, we didn't get back and find shooters as quick as we needed to. But uh, we let their best players be comfortable. And Forbes. Uh, when we did a good, when, when we played the screens the right way, we, we were good. When we didn't, he made us pay. That's what really good players do. And uh, Denzel and Matt were outstanding. And and um, they didn't need a lot of other guys today. We just let those guys, um, we let those guys get to their strengths. And when you're playing a great team and with great players, you just can't let them get to that. So um, that's really what it was more than anything else. We did not defend. Uh, nearly as good as we needed to. We gave up too many easy baskets, and we gave up too many um, too many strength baskets, meaning that um, um, they got to their strengths. And the game was the game was physical, and and we didn't get as much finishing done on the offensive end against the physicality, and um, and in turn we weren't. But um, we've got to be better. We can be better. We were better a few nights ago. We were much better. We've been better on the road. And now we turn around and get ready to play Nebraska. Go ahead. Tom, um, Valentine's poise, uh, how much does that help them? How much was that him and how much was it what you guys weren't doing? Oh, he's a great player. There's no question about it. We you know with the assist rate that he has, the way he throws the ball ahead. But you can't, you just can't let him come off and get to that right hand like we did. And, um, and um, he, he got to play to his strengths. And at times we did a good job, but for the most part, we did not put enough pressure on him. We didn't make him uncomfortable enough. So he's a guy that he can do a lot of different things because of his vision and because of his ability to play through traps. But but you gotta you gotta wear him down. Purdue showed that the other night. I mean you've got to get into him and put a lot of heat on him. And we just didn't do a good enough job of that. So uh, we've got to learn better for the next matchup. You know with the next team we see. Um, it seems like Yogi's kind of struggled from the floor with the shot really since Penn State. Is it, is it a fatigue thing? Is it maybe pressing too much after? Oh, I think he pressed a little bit tonight. Yeah, I think he pressed a little bit in the Iowa game. No question about it. But but um, it's just a matter of trying to probably to make too many things happen, you know, rather than continuing to move it. And we were having trouble scoring, right? But um, um, he got a long break when we had the fouls in the first half. So I don't, he's used to playing a lot of minutes. I don't think it's <laughs> I think um, we had some other guys that weren't, you know, weren't making plays. You know, what you have to have, this is what we had Thursday night. Guys come in and they impact the game. You know, whether they're a starter or whether they're coming off the bench, they impact the game. It's not always with scoring. Tonight we didn't get enough, or today we didn't get enough impact from other players, some starters, some substitutes. We just, they didn't impact the game enough. So when that's happening, it's going to put more pressure on the people that have the ball the most. So um, I'm not worried about his shooting. And, and, um, and I'm not worried about his minutes. You know, we, we, we didn't, we didn't, we prepared hard. We didn't, we didn't physically go hard, you know, to get ready for this game. We just didn't have the time frame, right? I mean, you end and you're not out of the building till 12, 30, 1 o'clock Friday morning. And it would have been crazy to have, you know, long drawn out practices coming in to, to deal with this. But um, so I'm not worried about that. It's just a matter of us um, continuing to stay on pace and, and improve. I guess just to follow up on that, and maybe you addressed it a little bit there, but we've talked about how Yogi's helped other guys through this season, that he's sort of brought other guys with him, led well. I think guys have even talked about how he's helped them break out of slumps. Is it, is it maybe a little bit on teammates to help him get through? No, I don't think it's that at all. He's some assists. I don't think, I don't, we don't really talk about slumps. It's not, a, it's not a real issue. He's not in one. It, it's a matter of, 
of uh, taking what the defense has given you when you've got the ball in your hands a lot. I'm sure he'd like to be at the foul line more. You know, he's trying to he's trying to get to the rim more at times. And um, when we made, what did we make? 11 threes, but uh, we needed a few more from some other guys. So, no, we're not, we're not going down the slump road. We're going down and we just need to get better in all areas. And it, it really starts with our transition defense. Tom, with, uh, with Troy's struggles today and the way OG is, is kind of coming on, how, how do you approach managing both those guys you know, over the next few games here you know, down the stretch? We just get ready for the next game, Jeff. And we'll go through practices and just get ready for the game and see what the matchups give us and see who's playing and, and um, go from there. Um, several players spent time on Denzel Valentine today. I mean, what was the mindset behind maybe sometimes putting Yogi on him, Robert Johnson on him, OG on him? He's a great player. We just wanted to try to slow him down, and we didn't do a great job of that. You've got to play him for his his driving, his scoring, his shooting, and certainly his passing. And you've got to put more pressure on him and make him more uncomfortable, and we didn't do that as much as we needed to, obviously. Tom, can you describe how we've seen uh, Matt Costello improve over the course of his career to become the player? Yeah, he's, he's, he's playing his way right into the NBA. We helped him today. There's no doubt about that. I mean, he... Uh, um, there's no question about it. He's had an outstanding year. I think he leads the league in rebounding, right? Isn't he? Isn't he the league leader? Yeah. Average in a double double. Um, made a second three. You know, you've got to guard him. I mean, he, but he got to play as a young guy, and, and he's earned his way, and, and he's a product of the system. And he's as physical of a defender and screener as there is in the league, and uh, he's improved his speed and quickness. Um, we again, we let him get to his strengths, and, and a big part of their game is getting the you know it's been that way forever. You know, get the ball, catch it, chin it, look middle, and go into your move. And, and we let him get too comfortable on the block uh, with plays. But it's not a it's not a situation where you're going to send a lot of double teams. Not when you've got four guys in the last five games that are shooting over 50 percent from three. So they're doing an outstanding job of spacing. And because he can score, because he can pass, and because he can um, he can get people open, that makes him incredibly valuable. Tom, is there any common theme to the transition defense issue? Is it more on the guards? Just today, you know, it's a good question. We, we the, the the biggest problem we had two people in the paint. Okay, you got to get one person in the paint and get the rim covered because they run so well. But then you got to get out because and, and a couple times we didn't get we didn't get the wings. It's not as much about stopping the ball in this game is it is getting the wings covered because they run to the wing and the in the in the corner so well and and they throw it ahead really well I mean we've got to do a better job of that and I would did a great job that they're throwing the ball ahead but the bottom line for us is it's too many times two are in the paint and when you've got that you're leaving somebody open and then we just didn't get communicated a couple of times on guys a couple of them there's no excuse for it and it's 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 not going to be good on film. Other times, we just weren't rotated quick enough. And uh, if he could get them to run that break that way every game, I'm sure he'd be a lot happier and because they were, they were at their best. They were committed to it, and we let them get some confidence from it. Tom, what you, uh, uh, what you got from Max today? Also, you decided to start him, and the fact he was able to get a double-double. That was a matchup situation. That was nothing Colin did wrong. That was all matchup. I didn't want, we didn't want... Uh, Thomas to start on Costello because I know Tom's mindset, right? And I've seen it with Zeller and I've seen it with Bonley, and they would have just tried to uh, attack him, right? I mean, and and and, um, and the bottom line is, you know, they were going to guard him, but we wanted to we wanted to let Thomas get uh, stabilized in the game, and um, so that's what that was all about. And Max answered it; he did a good job. He did a very good job. So said all along, in my mind, um, we have numerous starters on our team. And I think judging by the minutes, it, it plays out that way. So there's always a starting lineup, but it's much more important that guys can go in and impact the game. Today, we had some guys impact it well. And we also had some guys that didn't. And that's what we've got to continue to, to regroup and get better from. Can you see what happened today with Troy Williams? Where, where, where the game went? Yeah, you know what? Um, bottom line, this is a great, great thing with him. He's got to understand how to impact the game more when they're taking things away. And, and the one thing that Troy is really good at is obviously moving without the ball, getting in those corners. And I'll give uh, Tom and the staff and the way they defended a lot of credit because they didn't lose sight of him. We really wanted Troy to be able to play because we'd seen this on film. So this is a good adjustment that they made because there were a lot of times that, that um, 
guys would lose their man. They'd ball watch a little bit. So obviously he's corrected that, you know, over the last couple of days because I think that was some of the issue on Tuesday night. And they never let Troy out of his sight. And Troy didn't do a great job of impacting the game with the boards. He didn't do enough defensively. And it's not about the jump shot. It's about continuing to impact the game. Um, they weren't bad shots at all. But, I mean, you've got you've to get loose balls, 50-50s, more rebounds, tip dunk, you know, when you're athletic like that. And um, we didn't get enough of that. So it, this has got to be a learning experience, and we covered that in the locker room. It's got to be a learning experience for a guy like that because everybody, it's not like he's not on the front page of the scouting report with the other games, but usually the game is moving so well for us that he gets lost in the game. And that's where a lot of his cuts come. They come sometimes out of sets, but more they come out of, you know, organized movement, you know, where it looks random. And he's got to continue to understand how he's going to cut in front of somebody, how he's going to uh, jump up, draw a charge, something to impact the game. And unfortunately for us, he didn't do enough of those things today. And it's not on him, but he did not. I mean, we, we all lost the game, but it's he's got to be better. He's got to be better. Anybody else? Okay, right, thank you.